All right, so in this video, we are going to solve the following problem. So we're given two numbers, and we want to find their product. And the kicker is we want to do this using recursion. So it's just an example here. I have two variables, x and y, that I've set to example numbers 5 and 3. And we want to determine what the product of those two numbers is doing so by using recursion. So if you haven't seen this problem before, if you're trying to go through this series of videos to get practice using recursion, I encourage you to pause the video now and try to solve the problem yourself. And whenever you have finished or if you're stuck, feel free to unpause the video and we can step through the problem together. So let's go ahead and break down what this problem is really asking us to do. So what we want to solve is we want to solve, in this case, the problem of 5 times 3. And we want to do so in a way to make use of recursion so that each time we call, let's say, the function recursively, this problem breaks down to a smaller and smaller instance of itself until eventually we reach the base case. And the base case is when we'll return, and that will be the end of calling the function. And we should get our answer that way. So the key to solving this problem is to view this not as multiplication directly, but as addition. And when we say 5 times 3, for instance, what are we saying? Well, if we want to frame that in terms of what we are saying using addition, we're saying add 5 to itself 3 times. So we're basically saying, say, 5 plus 5 plus 5. And that is the same as 5 times 3. So let's actually think about how we can go about solving this problem recursively. Let's say that we already have a function which takes in the numbers and let's say it takes in x, in this case again, is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3. Now what we want to do is we want to reduce y in such a way that as we reduce y, we keep a cumulative recursive total. We make recursive calls where x is kept the same and then we're increasing the total, the cumulative sum, by that many times. So let's break that down. So initially we pass in 5 and 3 to the function. What we want to do then is we want to add in x, so we saw x plus a recursive call to the function where we decrement y by 1. So we've added x, so we say x plus the recursive call to this function. What we do is we do that, and on the next time we check, is this value here, is it 0? Because if so, that's our base case, and that's when we're going to exit the function. It's not 0, so what we do is we make another recursive call where we say x plus 5. Again, this stays the same, the x value stays the same, and then 1 here. We again, we check if our base case is satisfied. We see if the y value in this case has reduced down to zero. It has not. So what we do is we make another recursive call, 5 plus 5, 0. Now this time we check if the y value is zero. It indeed is. And then on that last time, what we'll do is we'll just return zero. So then basically the recursive calls will accumulate so that way 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 15. And that's the answer that we're after. So let's get rid of these things and let's actually start to code that up. So let's create a function which we will call recursive multiply and we will pass in the values x and y. So what we're going to want to do is let's first take care of our base case. So if y is 0, then what we're going to do is we're just going to return 0. So now we're going, to work to, we're going to work on the recursive case. So in the recursive case, remember what we're doing is we're checking, we're adding x, which in the example is 5, to the recursive call of the function. So we're going to call it recursive multiply, keeping x the same, and then decrementing the y value by 1. So we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and print out x times y over here, just so that way we have a sanity check. And then we'll also print out the recursive multiply of x and y, just to make sure that we get the same answer between the two. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. So we get 15 and 15. So it seems like that appeared to work correctly. Now, there is something to keep in mind here. And let me uh, show you an example, which this will fail for. So let's say that we take some bigger numbers. Let's say we have 500, and let's say we have, let's say, something like 2,000. So same concept, only now we're dealing with bigger numbers, which means more additions, which means more recursive calls to the function. Let's go ahead and save this, and let's see what happens.
So we have uh, an error here that comes back. And basically what we have is this first line is the product. That's the one that just called Python's built-in multiplication function. And we see this error here. And basically the, the main takeaway of the error is uh, recursion. So we're, we're exceeding the maximum de de depth for recursion. And therefore we're getting an error. We're calling the function recursively too many times. So basically one thing we can do to prevent this from or, or, or mitigate the risk here of calling the recursive function too many times is we can cut back on the number of recursive calls that we have to make. And we can do that by checking which of these two values is bigger. And basically if the y value is bigger, in this case the y value is bigger than the x value, we'll flip them because that will effectively amount to performing less recursive calls or less additions. So in this case, that will prevent us from overflowing the recursion uh, stack or, or, or calling the recursive function too many times. So what we can do here is we can add a check. So let's just add a comment. This cuts down uh, the total number of recursive calls. And basically what we can do, we will check if x is less than y. And if that is the case, then we can flip x and y. So that way we can minimize the number of recursive calls that we're making. So what we'll do in this case is we'll return recursive multiply of not x and y, but y and x. So that's what we'll do in that case. So let's go ahead and run this function here. So in this case, what we have is we have the initial built-in multiplication between the numbers of Python, and we have our recursive recursive call, which successfully computed the same value uh, without overflowing, without exceeding the maximum depth of recursion. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks again for watching, as always, for all the supports and subscriptions. They're very much appreciated. If this helped you with studying for recursion, that's great. Please let me know in the comments. If there's something else you'd like to see, whether it be recursion or anything else, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.